We got a question in the chat from a guy named Bob. The question says, so there is a girl at work, I think may be interested in me. In the last two months, she has initiated a conversation over messages 90% of the time, suggested hanging out and complimented me on my style. I got her number this week. And when we were texting about fragrances, why? She said, I have great taste and use a lot of smiley faces and devil emojis saying she wants to smell and wear what she likes. Whew, that was a little steamy home. That was, that was, whew, oh my God. <clears throat> she is leaving work next week for a different job. How do I know whether she likes me or is being friendly? Should I ask her on a date after she leaves? And then she said she wants to smell the fragrance I have and recommend it. Okay, so, all right. So, uh, the good thing is she, she's leaving the job. That's great. That, that's fantastic, actually, because that means that on the off chance that you ask her out, there's no weird things going on with HR. Like, if you hurt her feelings or she decides that she doesn't want to do this, there's all this weird stuff, right? So, but, yeah, she's giving you all the buying signals. Like, the dude, the dude that said below, he said, um, um, if you wait any longer, she's going to call you. She's going to think you're gay. She's spelling it out for you without smacking you straight in the face. Go get it. So, I'm going to, for the, for the guys that, because this guy's seemingly unaware. So for the guys that are watching this, I'm just going to go through this again and point out to you all the signals that this girl gave that you may be thinking are passive things, because I get it. There are some women, they're going to do some of these things because they're just trying to be your friend or they're just trying to be polite to you. I find this is where I start looking for. Are there multiple things that a woman's throwing out there that would indicate that if I go to ask her out, I have a good shot. So to start with, she initiates most of the messages, positive sign. She's the one that suggests hanging out. That is a woman's way of asking on a date without asking on a date because women are still gonna leave it up to you as the guy to actually put out there what the activity is going to be for the date. But they will say things like, we should hang out sometime. That is code for, hey, dummy, right now, I'm, I'm telling you, I wanna hang out, ask me out. That's two. Complimented you on your style. Three, because here's the thing, women don't have to do that. Like she might, if she would be one thing that's like, oh yeah, you got some great shoes or whatever. If she's like consistently commenting on your style, that is her way of flirting with you and saying, hey guy, I'm recognizing you and that you look great. I hope you recognize that because when, because here's the thing, she's thinking when guys like me, they tell me that I look great. Therefore, guys must also like that. They're not aware that that doesn't, that doesn't get us. We don't, we don't get complimented enough to even have that be on our radar. But yeah, if a woman is complimenting you on a consistent basis about more than one thing, she's probably interested. So Got the number, finally. And um, you were talking about fragrances. And she says she wants to smell the fragrance. And I have recommend and I I have. So she she's saying she wants to smell you, dude. She wants to she wants to get close to you with her nose and smell you all over. That that's another, that's four things right now, right? Um, the emojis, I don't typically read too much into emojis because yes, it's they're not they are positive signals, but they're not like I don't want you to start getting to the habit of thinking these texting things indicate signals because then you'll read that with other girls that are doing that that just like emojis, you know? Um, so it's, we'll put that at like a half. So that's four and a half, right? And then, so all that to say, so your question now is, how do you know whether she likes you or is being friendly? Here's the thing, guy. Even with all those signals, none of that matters if you don't ask her out. And, and here's the thing, right? She may have a level of like for you, but I don't want you to go in thinking, if I ask her out, it's, it's girlfriend time and boyfriend time. All she's been do doing is giving you signals that say, hey, ask me out so I can explore further what this is, what these feelings are that I have, right? So take it at that level. All you're doing is asking her on a date. A date is nothing more than a research project. You don't go into a date having all these feelings for her. You don't go into a date trying to tell her about how great she is or how wonderful this stuff. You don't go into a date assuming that it's going beyond that date and that there are future plans. You go into a date saying, I'm going to go with her. And, and spend intimate time with her on a one-on-one -on -one capacity outside of the office, outside of other people, where we can just sit down at a dinner or a putt-putt golf or whatever and just spend time. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing that guys really don't, don't get. And, I, and this is why on some level I don't get mad at women anymore, that you know, women that are trying to just say, oh, let's just be friends. Because women understand something that guys don't. A friendship relationship is dramatically different from an actual relationship relationship you know there are deeper feelings involved things get people can get hurt a lot easier there's going to be hookups involved and other things that are going to drive you deeper than a than a friendship would you could be surface level with the friendship your whole life with a girl, with a girl and it never never flame out right but women understand that going from friendship to relationship is very very hard and so what i think men need to do a better job of is saying okay yes i have interest in her and yes i want to take her out and see what's what 
but I'm not going to put all my chips in this basket yet and assume that because we have one or two dates, we're now in a full-blown relationship. You need to build time in with the woman on your end of things. Like we already know women take two or three months, but you need time on your end to see if the judgment you're making about this woman based on lust is one that's going to be actually legitimate if you're dating her for two or three months, all right? So that's why I say it because I don't want you to apply so much pressure to asking her out or going on a date. It is just a research project. You hit her up after she leaves the job, say, hey, um, um, happy about the new job. We'd love to go out to take you out to dinner to talk more about it and just to catch up. Uh, let me know if you're free on this day or this day and make sure it's at nighttime. You do lunches, it, that, that gives friendship vibes. Always try to keep dates to nighttime, preferably after five o'clock where you can like talk to her. You get the little candlelight going where your pupils will dilate and you look more attractive. And then there might be a chance that you get to take her home and do some other stuff, you know? But suffice to say, yeah, I say, dude, she's throwing you so many signals like, I'm surprised if you were a blind man and I was doing signing with in front of you, you should be able to read that. Like, so yeah, definitely ask her out on a date and call it a date. She, she tried to call it a hangout because sometimes women think, well, maybe the word date's too much pressure and I don't want to give away my card yet. But, but if you call it a date, she'll know that you're leading it towards potentially being romantic, but she won't know that you have a high level of feelings for her. Keep that on the down low. All right. So hopefully that answers your question. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.